Hi, I just wanted to record a quick video on shared calendars in Google Calendar. Um, Manage uses shared calendars uh, to share meetings like planning meetings, customer calls, uh, out of office notices, so that across the entire stage, everyone kind of knows what's going on in every single group and can optionally join meetings if they so choose or find that topic interesting. So I'm gonna share my screen and talk through um, how to use shared calendars. Uh, let me just share this. So right now we're looking at the default view in Google Calendar. And I'm gonna go ahead and first create a new calendar. So I'm gonna go up here into, I believe it is just settings here by clicking the gear in the top right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click add calendar and then create new calendar here on the left-hand side. So I'll just say test calendar as my calendar name, uh, owner Jeremy Watson, organization GitLab, create calendar. And you look in the toaster message at the bottom, it says test calendar successfully created. So now it should appear in the left-hand side here under settings for my calendars, but it doesn't. So you have to click away and then the page will refresh and then you'll see your calendar, which is a bit annoying. So I just clicked and then there, now I see test calendar. So uh, here I can enter a description for my calendar, but now the calendar is created. And you see that it automatically adds all invitations to this calendar and it automatically makes it available for GitLab. So if you wanna share your calendar with specific people, they have to go, you have to go into this view and then add them one by one. So let's say that I wanted to add Eric Brinkman um, as a collaborator so they can manage the calendar and then see the event details. So one thing that's useful is to say, um, make changes and manage sharing. So that now that person, if a new person joins my team or needs to be added to the calendar, they can kind of also help onboard new hires and, uh, uh, and, uh, and I, don't, I don't have to be the single source of, uh, of failure with, how, with managing this calendar. Um, so then, now that this calendar is available, how do I actually use it? So if you scroll down here to the bottom, you get this integrate calendar calendar ID here. And if I go back to my calendars here, you can see that test calendar is now added as, my, as one of my calendars. So whenever I create a new event here, uh, so generally I'm here at Jeremy Watson, so I'll go ahead and create a new event here and I'll just say team meeting. And I can paste in that email address as a invitee. So this is now how the, what the guest list looks like. I have me, and then I have the shared calendar as a invite as in, a part of the guests. So I'll save, and I won't send invitation emails because this is a shared calendar. Um, and when I click on this, it says that test calendar is now part of the invite. So now that that invite is now part of test calendar, and anyone that adds test calendar to their calendar can see it. Um, so if I, how do, so now the last question is, is that how do I add events to, um, to make sure that I'm seeing test calendar kind of on my uh, Google calendar. So I'm gonna go here to settings and then test calendar and get shareable link is the link that I'm going to use to allow people to access the calendar. So, uh, let me unsubscribe from this first, and then I'm going to go ahead and click and use that URL. And then now you'll see I have a, a prompt to add test calendar to my uh, to my Google Calendar. And then I click that, and now the team meeting uh, is back. So, so there's a few things here that I that I, we kind of walk through. Number one is creating a new calendar, um, which you're able to do in the in the in Google Calendar settings with by creating a new calendar, as and you'll be the, by default the owner. Number two, it's adding other people to the calendar, which you can also do in the settings menu for that for that calendar invite. Let me just go ahead and walk through that again. And you can go ahead and, set and do that here. Now those people that you share that with have to use the shareable link to be able to see those invites like on their calendar uh, and add that calendar to the calendar page. Um, and then to, finally, to kind of add new events to the shared calendar, you'll use this calendar ID. Um, and then just simply add that to the, uh, as a invitee, as a member uh, in any invites that you wanna to add to the shared calendar. So that's all for now. Uh, shared calendars can be really powerful and useful and can kind of really help collaboration across a stage when um, you might, especially in kind of like large, uh, large teams. So thanks for watching, cheers.